if you are looking for a german branded cycle under 35k in india then look no further here we have bergamont helix 1.5 i which we are going to review in detail but remember to watch till the end where i give my honest review of what is not good in this cycle come on in hi folks if you are new here don't forget to subscribe so that you can get regular updates regarding to regarding cycling and cycling related stuff the frame material is aluminum alloy which is very light i can lift it in one hand it's pretty lightweight cycle i must say shimano tourney 7 cross 321 gears both front and back is a tourney uh, gear set drive train and shifters v brakes both front and back it has synchro seat post very very comfortable i personally like the synchro seat post because of its shape and the comfort that it gives you don't need any other seat post it doesn't have quick release normal release you might need an allen key to fix and adjust your seats free wheel this has a free wheel instead of a cassette uh, I generally like cassette better than the free wheel. Double wall rim. Tire is a 28 inch uh, 35 size, which is most like a hybrid size, but more on the uh, road bike hybrid style. It will go fast, really, really fast. cable routing is external but the only part is the cable is been routed on the top tube uh, which is still okay you can still use the side tube handlebar is a slightly curved handlebar which is more like a comfortable mountain bike handlebar if you are looking to buy this cycle pro cycle is running an offer where you will get this bergamont helix 3 1.5i for 34.99 yes you heard it right you will get it at 34.99 so hurry it up tagu bartina this is a great bike ride quality is awesome as you can check out Overall this is a great bike under budget if you are looking for a german brand which which is a great design and you can take it on a long rides you can you can it's an all terrain bike two things that i did i did not like about this bike number one at 35k they would have or they should have given a hydraulic disc brake or at least a disc brake v brake is still a no bummer for me it's it's still I still don't agree at 35k you will not be able to give a uh, disc brake but having said that it's a german brand probably they would have thought that the v brakes can also do a similar job and low maintenance so probably they would have given a v brakes but i am still not okay with v brakes at 35k and the second part is the cable routing the the cable routing <coughs> should have been on the tube at 35k i would consider they would have done better job on the cable routing and and a better better tourney uh, shimano set a higher version of the tourney right now it is still a 7 cross 3 which is 21 gears uh, the the upgraded version of the tourney drive train is 8 cross 3 which is 24 i would have assumed that in 2023 that they would have considered upgrading the drive train but overall it's it's actually a great bike uh, you can take it on long rides it has the it's it's more on the road hybrid side because it has a tires which is of uh, 35 35 uh, size 6692 cross 35 which is a which is probably on the road bike side you can go all the way up to 32 or even 28 Uh, which will make it go really really fast this cycle can go really really fast that's why i would have preferred 
having a disc brake if we are going really really fast this is a fast bike to be honest this is a really fast bike i would consider this more on the road bike side you can kind of upgrade this into a road bike than on the mountain bike side or i, I could i would say this is a gravel more on the gravel side on the aggressive gravel than than the mountain bike i hope <coughs> this video is of any helpful to you if at all please subscribe to my channel so that you can get more of this kind of stuff thank you